What's up you guys, I'm Patrick of Coaster Fanatics and today I'm bringing you a POV and review of Iron Rattler, the RMC Hybrid Coaster at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. This coaster has a max height of 179 feet with an 81 degree drop of 171 feet and a top speed of 70 miles per hour. Iron Rattler features 3,266 feet of track and was the first RMC Hybrid to feature an inversion with its 0G roll. I wasn't sure what to expect from this coaster as I've heard a lot of mixed reviews. I actually loved Iron Rattler, however it did leave me a little disappointed at the end, but I'll talk about that in a second. The drop is amazing. In my opinion it's the best drop on a hybrid at the time of me making this video, although I expect Steel Vengeance to take that crown next year. Anyways I love how the chain just barely gets the train over the lift hill. I think it's awesome when parks set up their trains to sit at the top for a few seconds like that. It really adds to the whole experience. The rest of the ride features many of the RMC elements we all know and love. Overbanks, wave turns, and lots of airtime hills. Of course you can't forget about its one and only inversion which is the zero G roll that can be found on top of the quarry wall. My favorite part of the ride has to be that last drop off the quarry wall. It's a big and steep drop that's very thrilling. From there you travel through a curved tunnel and then it goes into the part of the ride that I hate and that's the brakes. That's right, Iron Rattler dives off the quarry wall, gains all that speed, passes through a tunnel, and then hits the brakes. In my opinion this is the worst and most disappointing ending on any RMC. I just feel that Six Flags in an effort to save money really missed out on an opportunity to make Iron Rattler the best RMC. To me Iron Rattler has enough speed off that quarry wall to do several more elements and maybe even more inversions. It's just a shame to hit the brakes with all that speed like that. But that's just me. I want to know what you think of Iron Rattler's ending in the comments. This all being said, I still loved Iron Rattler. In fact, as of right now, I'd place it as my number one favorite hybrid by RMC. These guys just don't make a bad roller coaster. Iron Rattler is one of their best creations and most unique as well, especially since it's built on a quarry wall. Despite the disappointing ending, I do highly recommend riding Iron Rattler. It's a great RMC overall. Okay you guys, sit back, hold on tight, and enjoy your ride on Iron Rattler. Welcome back riders, I hope you enjoyed your ride on Iron Rattler. Stay tuned to my channel, in the coming weeks I'll be posting a back row POV as well as a night ride. You guys don't want to miss that. 
I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button. Do leave your thoughts in the comment section. And if you're new around here, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a good one. I'll catch you all in the next video very, very soon.